Hello, Product Hunter viewers. Today, we're reviewing the latest tablet models from three tech giants, Apple, Samsung, and Google. We'll take a closer look at Apple's powerful 12.9-inch iPad Pro, Samsung's Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra with its large screen and high resolution. Join us to discover which tablet is the best fit for you among these three fantastic devices. Apple 12.9-inch iPad Pro. The aluminum frame of the iPad Pro is top-notch. The side edges are flat and the corners are rounded with the back panel consisting of a wide metal sheet divided only by the reflective Apple logo in the center and the camera module in the corner. Additionally, three copper contacts can be seen on the back. These are used to attach accessories like the Magic Keyboard to the iPad Pro. While models with cellular capabilities also support eSIM, they include a tray for SIM cards. Apple offers the iPad Pro in silver or space gray. Various buttons and ports are scattered around the outer edge by Apple. The power button and volume buttons are located closest to the camera module in the corner. These buttons have a good profile and work well. The USB-C 4.0 Thunderbolt connector is centered on a short edge. It is the only connection point, and there is no slot for micro SD memory cards. If you're interested in accessories, you'll need a USB hub to connect to multiple devices. The tablet has four speakers, two on one short edge, and two on the other. Depending on how you hold the tablet, the speakers can dynamically adjust your music or video audio so that the left and right channels align correctly with your ears. You can easily fill a hotel room or office with music, and the speakers produce surprisingly good sound considering the limitations of the tablet's size and shape. If you're serious about playback quality, a Bluetooth headset or Bluetooth speaker will serve you better. In terms of security, the iPad Pro includes a user-facing camera and an IR scanner to enable Face ID. This is one of the fastest and most secure facial recognition tools available, but Apple continues to place the camera on one of the tablet's short edges. The main difference between the previous generation iPad Pro and the new one is the processor. Apple has upgraded its Pro tablets from the M1 processor to the M2 processor, resulting in an impressive increase in power. According to Apple, the M2 features an 8-core CPU and a 10-core GPU that are respectively 15% and 35% faster than the M1. The 16-core neural engine provides a 40% improvement in machine learning tasks and 50% more memory bandwidth for gaming and 3D modeling. The iPad Pro is available in five storage configurations, 128 GB, 256 GB, 5 or 12 GB, 1 TB, or 2 TB. The first three options come with 8 GB of RAM, while the higher storage models include 16 GB of RAM. Apple hasn't done much to increase the iPad's battery life. Most iPads, dating back to the original in 2010, offered around 9 to 10 hours of battery life. If there's one thing that helps the Pro stand out, especially the larger model, it's the battery life. Unfortunately, there hasn't been a real change. While it's nice to watch from a Pro device for 12 hours, the iPad lasts about 10 hours over Wi-Fi and about 9 hours over 5G for mixed activities. If you do something like turn off the radios and watch recorded videos, it will last a little longer. Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. The Galaxy Tab and accompanying S Pen Stylus are IP68 rated for the first time, meaning they are dust and water resistant. All three Tab S9 models can withstand and being submerged in water for up to 30 minutes and rinsed off when dirty. The screen is covered with Corning Gorilla Glass 5, which, while not the latest version, can withstand drops of up to about one and a half meters onto hard surfaces and is scratch resistant. Neither the Lenovo Tab Extreme nor the iPad Pro have an IP rating, so this is a distinguishing feature for the Tab S9, inviting new scenarios for use by the poolside or beach. The 14.6-inch Dynamic AMOLED 2X display features a resolution of 2,960 X1148 pixels, refresh rates of up to 120 autohertz, peak brightness of 930 nits, and an effective aspect ratio of 1610. Given the size of the screen and how reflective it can be, outdoor use of the Tab S9 Ultra in natural sunlight may be challenging. Indoors, the screen is bright enough to meet normal room conditions. Additionally, there is an in-display fingerprint sensor near the USB-C port that performs well in tests. A notch for two front-facing 12mmP cameras cuts into one of the tablet's long edges. One is for standard view, the other for ultra-wide view. The power button and volume buttons are located at the top left edge of the front-facing cameras, with the microSD card slot to their right. There are four 
four AKG tuned speakers with Dolby Atmos support, two on each short edge of the tablet with a total of four grills. The back panel is mostly a large flat metal sheet. Near the top, there is a section where the included S Pen magnetically attaches and charges, and two camera lenses protrude from the metal surface by one to two millimeter. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra runs on Android 13 and receives four Android OS updates and five years of security updates. Samsung's One UI runs on top of Android and enables seamless activities like answering a call or replying to a text when connected to a Samsung phone. The Tab S9 Ultra comes with Bluetooth 5.3, an improvement over the Tab S8 Ultra's Bluetooth 5.2, and is handy for exclusive listening since there is no headphone jack. It supports Wi-Fi 6E, but does not support NFC. The Tab S9 Plus is the only one of three models to offer optional 5G cellular radio. Mostly, DeX can simulate a desktop operating system quite well, but when things get tough, it can't match the robustness of a Windows tablet like the Microsoft Surface Pro 9 or even the iPad OS 17 on an iPad Pro. The Tab S9 Ultra is an excellent Android tablet that exceeds expectations, but Android prevents it from fully replacing a laptop. Google Pixel Tablet. The tablet features a 10.95 inch LCD screen with a resolution of 2560 x 1600 pixels, a pixel density of 267 PPI, and a refresh rate of 60 Hz. Thanks to 24-bit color support, videos and images look beautiful on this screen, and the touch response is excellent. The screen reaches a typical brightness of 500 nits and is easily visible in direct sunlight. At the top of the screen, there is a front-facing camera in the middle of the bezel with a volume button and a combined power button fingerprint sensor located in the top right corner. At the bottom edge, there are two thin rubber bumpers to prevent scratching of the tablet's bottom. There are four slits for four built-in speakers on the short edges. These speakers can output sound up to 90 dB in tests, but the bass is quite light. On the left side, there is a USB Type-C 3.2 Gen 1 port, which means you can charge the tablet separately from the speaker dock when needed. On the back panel, in the top left corner, there is a small 8 Nummy P camera, a shiny Google G logo, and four connection points to attach to the speaker dock's pogo pins. The Google Pixel tablet is powered by Google's own Tensor G2 SoC, which is the same as the Pixel 7 series and Pixel Fold. It includes four 1.8 GHz efficiency cores, two 2.35 GHz mid-tier cores, and two 2.8 8 GHz performance cores. The base model of the Pixel Tablet comes with 128 GB of internal storage. The Pixel Tablet has two identical cameras. Both the front and rear cameras shoot 8 Metal P photos with an f2.0 aperture, have an 84 degree field of view, and shoot 1080p video at 30 FPS. The front facing camera allows you to take portrait images with a blurred background, although this feature is not available on the back. The placement of the Pixel Tablet resembles a Nest Hub device, but it is not. The Pixel Tablet is an Android. 13 tablet with a dock that allows it to behave more like a Google smart home product. Setting up the Pixel tablet is like setting up any other Android device. You can even copy your settings from another Android device if you wish. Google says it will provide at least five years of security updates for the tablet and dock. As it is a full-fledged Android tablet, you can pair it with a Bluetooth keyboard if you want to write in Google Docs or Microsoft Word. The built-in software keyboard offers various smart options, including a split keyboard that can be used in both vertical and horizontal modes. There is also a voice typing feature accessible by tapping the microphone icon at the top of the software keyboard, which works exceptionally well. Just speak into the tablet as much as you want, and it will transcribe your speech seamlessly. Thank you for watching this review video. We hope the information we provided about Apple's iPad Pro, Samsung's Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra, and Google's Pixel Tablet has been helpful to you in determining which tablet suits your needs best. If we've been able to assist you in finding the right tablet for you, we're delighted. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us for more content. See you in the next video.